Previously on Reggie Perrin. We're fattening Groom Tag up to sell it. Yes. <laughs> Whenever I'm wrong, just tell me the song and I will sing it. I'll be right and understood. <laughs> I don't suppose sorry will cover it. Yeah, who can honestly say they haven't shagged the man from next door every now and again? <laughs> Look, thank you. Seriously. What's for supper? I... Neighbours cock van? <laughs> Flambeed marriage? OK, um, let's start with a cocktail of doesn't give a crap husband and despairing wife, shall we? Absolutely. You'd so earned the right to have sex with an attentive local man. Yes, he showed an interest, just like you did with that floozy you took to Finland. Jasmine is the head of bombs and lubricants. Isn't she just? It's a business trip. We didn't have sex, however much I wanted to. I'm not sure I find that hugely flattering. Why are you taking the salt and pepper? Because I'm going mad with sadness. Nicola in bed with another man. I'll postpone Could you post the staff, staff out into the sex museum? Thank you. <laughs> Reggie. Hello, there, Jasmine. I just heard. Do you know him? Next door neighbour. Mr. Wang. No. no. The Wangs left. I'm sorry. Oh, it's OK. They weren't very good neighbours. I think they stole my lawnmower. <laughs> I meant your marriage. I know. What are you going to do now? I suppose I'll just have to buy a new lawnmower, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, the new range of talking sandwiches has taken off. <laughs> what range is amazing. Beggar's belief, isn't it? It's interesting, though. Consumers are clearly tired of being sensible. People are buying a perfume called Shed that smells like a shed. <laughs> Doesn't that indicate that mankind has taken a wrong turning somewhere? Are you all right, Reggie? Yes, I'm fine. Man. What? Never seen a man smashing a photo of his wife before? You'll need it tomorrow. 
at the meeting with Gruntech's prospective buyers. Uh, I'm busy all day tomorrow. It's National Sit Quietly with a Relative Day. <laughs> no, it's National Turn Up or You're Out on Your Ass Without a Penny Day. The buyers want you to be there. The company's overpriced. <laughs> of course the company's overpriced. But if you jeopardize the sale of this company, everyone will lose their job. Oh, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Mr. Perrin's wife has been fornicating with another man. Yeah. So he's moved into a hotel and he's very lonely. So we need to show him how much we love him. Using the language of cake? Um, big banner with sorry to hear about your recent marital brouhaha. <laughs> Puppet show? <laughs> or we could offer to put him up. I can't because I'm a girl and it would look like I was offering myself unto him. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. Um, I, I live in a caravan with my parents and if someone stays, it tips. <laughs> Morning, Reggie. Morning, uh, Anthony. All right, well, better get on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't think you should stay in a hotel and be depressed when you can stay at mine and be depressed. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm fine. No, yeah. you must. Honestly. I love you, Reggie. It, it'll be an honour to help. Well, thank you. That'd, that'd be lovely. We can get into our pyjamas and watch The Bodyguard together. <laughs> Too much? I'll, I'll go then. <laughs> See you later. Message from your father-in-law. Feeling calm, God on my side. Is he having an operation? No, he's getting married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vicky, would you like to be my guest at the wedding? Me? Vicky? Won't your wife mind? Wife? Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> I'd love that. I love weddings. I love the romance. I love the clothes. I love the love. I love trying to get the bouquet, even if it means hurting other women. <laughs> <laughs> I love the rings. I love the vicars. I love it when the bride says, I, Vicky Pan Smith, take you, Kev. I love the drunk aunties. <sighs> Queer chaps. What? Marriage, fidelity. Togetherness, intercourse, shoes. <laughs> so, is Reggie coming back? I hope so. Whoops, a daisy. Dad. <laughs> Your mum and I both put it about a bit. You don't have to tell me, Dad. Couldn't keep our slacks on. Neighbours, milkmen. Air hostesses, a clown. A clown? Yeah, the 60s. Circus coming to Guildford was massive news. <laughs> Still, I bet that put a big smile on Mum's face. <laughs> oh, why do they say you never lie there on your deathbed and wish you'd slept with fewer people? Because it's true. No, it's not true. No, no, not true. Silly man, keep up. How do I look? Fabulous. Oh. Queer chap. Hugging. <laughs> uh, sorry if there are any unsavoury pants lying around. <laughs> have you ever shared a flat before? Yes, I have. Yeah. The uh, furry tin of tuna in the fridge, the smell of cat, even though you don't own a cat, the... Weirdy, beardy guys you've never even seen before using a toothbrush, the mystery vomit in the sink, you know? Who's eaten my ham? Someone has. Yeah. <laughs> the guys should be back in a minute. You can have Patrick's room. And now, uh, where's Patrick? He died. What? Oh, well, I'm, uh, maybe I'd better go back to the comfort inn. Oh, no, no. It's... Oh, guys, 
This is Reggie. Hi, Reggie. Oh, hello. Uh, how do you do? Uh, Reggie needs cheering up. Aww. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm fine, really. Okay. Oh, all right, then, cheer me up. The cult postmodern advertisement, which has sealed the success of Groomtech's leading edge grot brand. So, as you can see, buying Groomtech represents a uh, landmark opportunity. We're not um, subprime, we're sublime. <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> uh, can I um, answer any questions? Yes. I'd like to hear your managing director's thoughts on this potential sale to us. Uh, of course. Uh, keep it short. Are you sure you want to buy a company? You can get a badger sanctuary or an ice cream for every child on the planet. Perrin. Oh, it's a perfectly good company. I've tried to run it slightly less, like a detention centre for men in suits, but that's just me. Did you anticipate the success of your grot range? Yes, because shopping is now more deeply ingrained in our national psyche than walking, queuing or thinking. Would you buy the company? Uh, may I just interject? Shh, 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 shh. No. <laughs> Buying Groom Tech would be like going to bed with a snowman. You'll start off with a fresh, hard-bodied youth with a cheeky grin, and you'll wake up with a big wet patch and, if you're lucky, three bits of coal and a carrot. <laughs> Would you say the company's overpriced? The company's overpriced. The company is not overpriced. <laughs> of course the company's overpriced. There you go. But that wasn't me. Yeah, it was. Look, that's him all right, isn't it? Of course the company's overpriced. <laughs> so, if I were you, I'd offer slightly less to greedy bollocks over there. And bear in mind that I invented Grot, and if you make even one person redundant, I will resign. All right. This isn't a game, Perrin. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I demand respect. I am the chair, damn it! There you just look nutty. <laughs> I could put you onto a therapist if you like. She's got her own didgeridoo. You can burn in hell. I'll see you there. <laughs> Hello, dear. Did you enjoy the service? Yes, super. Was it you coughing? I don't think so. Hello. William, bridegroom. Biggest mistake of my life. Hello, he doesn't mean that. I'm Nicola, his daughter. I don't normally wear a sash. Marion made me. Oh. Hello, I'm Vicky, Mr. Perrin's PA. That's personal assistant, not to be confused with public address system. <laughs> Do you think the dress is too much? I just love weddings. It's so exciting. I need the line-up. Reggie, Marion's son. Do you know her? Yes, I'm in her action on ageism group. Oh, good, good. Can I get you a chair? <laughs> a tiny joke. Won't happen again. Hello, Reggie Perrin, professional wedding greeter. Drinks on trays, nuts over there, can cause choking, and assisted suicide through that door over there. <laughs> yes. Hello. Women have come a long way since I first married in the early 1960s. If we'd had the pill, there'd be an empty place where Reggie's sitting. <laughs> I knew nothing about the sex act when I first married. Ah. Oh. As I said to my first husband, I don't know what you're planning to do with that, but when I find my wool, I'm going to knit it a nice cosy. <laughs> Marion and I are very different. And I like to think that our love of the two-for-one suppers offer at Iceland and fear of loneliness will keep us together. At least for a while. Oh. Why does she keep making that noise? We're both going into this marriage with our eyes open. Fortunately, our eyesight is rather poor. <laughs> Please, raise your glasses to the woman of my dreams. An underwear model with a solid knowledge of military history and her own whiskey distillery. <laughs> and to Marion, who I'm marrying. <laughs> Marion. 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 